Welcome back to the Gentleman's Gazette. Today we are sharing 10 outfit ideas to wear with sweaters. Now as we enter the fall and winter season, it's always going to be helpful to have some great sweater outfit ideas in your back pocket that will work for a variety of men. Now first and foremost, it's important to remember that sweaters might not always be called sweaters depending on where you're from. Sometimes they're called jumpers or even pullovers. Now why wear a sweater, you might ask? Well, of course, to keep you warm, it's also a great way to add some complexity to your overall outfit. Now there are a variety of different types of sweater styles. Not all of them will stop at the base of your neck, for example. Some will actually cover all or part of your neck. For example, like the sweater I'm wearing today. Now sweaters can be defined by many different characteristics, most notably the cut, style, knit, and pattern. Now I love the fact that because we're wearing layers, we can easily take a layer off and stay cool while still looking properly dressed. Now there are a number of different materials that are used to create sweaters, but some of the more popular materials include wool, alpaca, cashmere, cotton, and linen. Now please try to avoid polyester or synthetic fibers. They don't last as long and they actually will make you feel a little bit too warm as these materials don't breathe as well. Now I know it's very tempting to purchase these materials in your sweaters because they're made available all over the place, but it's best to stick to quality materials as these will offer you the most longevity. Now there are a variety of different styles of sweaters made available, some extremely modern and almost futuristic and some very classic. Now some of the more popular styles that you might find in many stores include the crew neck, v-neck, turtleneck, a shawl collar, a cardigan, a half zip, a tennis, or a commando, also known as a woolly pulley. Now it's important to remember that any zippered style sweater is gonna look much more modern and sporty than other styles. Now this isn't a bad thing, but it's important to keep in mind if you are trying to assemble a more fully classic outfit. Now there are a few popular knit options that are made available in sweaters that we're gonna talk about next. Solid colored sweaters can be knitted from a single color thread or from a range of colors to add some depth. Next is Fair Isle. Now Fair Isle uses bold colors and Scottish patterns to create a bold and unique design. And the next is Erin. Erin is a knit that uses wider, thicker patterns to create a more three-dimensional look and a solid color. And next we have Cable Knit. Now Cable Knit is a classic pattern that imitates a two-stranded rope and it usually comes in a solid color. Let's take a quick peek at the history of sweaters. Now we can see as far back as the 15th century that fishermen actually wore sweaters. Now sweaters were actually a very helpful tool in helping protect them from the elements while they were out at sea. Sweaters became popular in the 1890s. Now around that time, the sweater was actually a very dark and heavy pullover which athletes would wear before and after a contest. Now in the 1920s, we see high-end designers begin to start to introduce sweaters into their collections. And in 1921, the trend-setting Prince of Wales was given a fair Isle sweater, which he then wore out in public and made quite popular. Now in the same decade, the young playwright Noel Coward popularized the turtleneck, which was also known as the polo neck sweater. Now what makes a good sweater? A good sweater is one that will be worth its material used in construction and also in its overall durability. It will be timeless and offer a great fit. It should not peel too much, and it also shouldn't feature large brand logos or any if you can avoid it. Now for more information on what we've discussed so far, check out our comprehensive sweater guide here. But more importantly, we need to focus on your sweater fitting your body type first. For more information on how to find the best fit for your body type, check out our video here. Now the ideal fit is neither too loose or too tight. It should cover your waist without going past your seat. Now your sweater sleeve should be long enough that they fall naturally at your wrists, but not so loose that you end up flying away. Now the shoulder seams should fall just at the edge of your shoulders. You should ideally have enough room to wear a shirt below the sweater if you choose. Now there are many ways men decide to incorporate a sweater into their outfit. In addition to wearing the correct fit, it's also important to prioritize wearing the correct colors and patterns that make the most sense for you and your wardrobe. I have found that primarily sticking to solid and neutral colors make the most sense for my wardrobe. Now this is the same rule I tell many customers who are unsure of what to purchase. Now this allows your wardrobe to maintain greater longevity over time, as opposed to buying colors that are a little bit too trendy. Now once you have built some foundation in your solid and neutral sweater collection, then start looking into certain patterns or knits that you might enjoy. Now let's take a look at some of those outfit ideas to wear with sweaters. Number one, the crew neck sweater and a sport coat. 
Now this is a simple outfit that can be personalized by the type of sport coat you wear and the color or pattern of shirt you may choose to wear below your sweater. Now depending on the color of your sweater, if you're unsure what color sport coat to wear, you can always choose a navy blue. The navy blue is going to look great a majority of the time. Now you could also try a pattern sport coat and coordinate your shoes and belt with that coat. Number two, the crew neck sweater with chino pants and a low top sneaker. Now this is great with a very clean cut sweater as opposed to a very excessively thick and chunky sweater. Although sometimes I'll cheat and wear this outfit with my thick cable knit sweater sometimes too, I like that. But ideally a clean cut sweater will look best. The reason why a clean cut sweater will be ideal is because you typically aren't going to be wearing a top layer above your sweater. So those excessive rolls from the extra fabric will start to look a little bit sloppy overall in your outfit. Number three, a v-neck sweater with a pattern shirt. Now make sure that the color and the pattern shirt complements the color and the sweater you're choosing to wear. Now this will be great with everything from jeans to even chino pants. You could always try adding a dress shoe or a dress boot to elevate this outfit a little bit. Number four, the turtleneck sweater and trousers. Now this outfit can appear rather fun and whimsical or even a bit conservative depending on the kind of colors and fit you might choose in this entire outfit. Now depending on your day's events, you can also consider wearing a dark wash denim in this outfit as well. And for a sharp look, consider adding in a jacket color of your choice, which complements your turtleneck. Number five, the turtleneck sweater and a sport coat. Now this outfit is definitely one of my favorites to use. Now it's very easy to put together, and now it can be very colorful, or it could also be very dark and monochromatic, depending on how you want things to look. And number six, the cable knit sweater and beige pants. Now this outfit can be kept fairly neutral and monochromatic by keeping the sweater in close color tone with the pants you're choosing to wear. Or you can break things up by wearing a sweater of a bold color that's going to contrast the pant. Try to add in a fun colored sock from Fort Belvedere to complement your outfit. Number seven, we have all black pants, sweater, and boots. Now this is also another one of my favorites. And the reason is it's very difficult to look bad in this outfit. Just about anybody could pull this look off. Then make sure the tone of the blacks you're intending to wear in your entire outfit are ideally of the same depth. You don't want to leave home and look like you're wearing 18 different shades of the same color. Number eight, we have the whimsical outfit. This is going to have a brightly colored sweater and a lot of patterns and different textures possibly in your sport coat and in trousers. Make sure you incorporate some Fort Belvedere socks and pocket squares to add a little bit of extra flair to this outfit. Now this outfit is really up to how confident you are as the wearer and how you combine different patterns and colors and textures. Now I've seen people that dress this way that turn my head for two different reasons. On one hand, there are those who simply seem to just get it in terms of how they put together their outfits and mix colors and patterns without going overboard. And then there are those who maybe don't get it as much and went maybe a little bit too far with how many colors or how many patterns they might have been wearing in one outfit. This is where it's a bit distracting to drivers having these people walk around down the street. It's a lot going on. Number nine, we have the full zip sweater with jeans and dress boots. Now it's important to note that the zipper does take a little bit away from the classic sweater look and leans itself much more into the modern category. Now if this is something that's going to bother you, it's best to probably skip this sweater style and maybe swap this out for something like a v-neck or even a shawl collar. And number 10, we have the Fair Isle sweater. Now in this outfit, it's best to try to find the base color in the sweater and wear pants and perhaps even a sport coat that can complement everything around that sweater so everything looks a little bit more cohesive. And because this is a very unique and bold pattern sweater, it's important to let this sweater be the loudest talking point in your outfit. Now it is not mandatory to add in a lot of extra items into your outfit, but doing so is a fantastic way to separate yourself away from others who might be wearing a very similar outfit. Try wearing sunglasses, a ring, a watch, a hat when it's appropriate, cufflinks, socks, or pocket squares, and check out these and other great items at the Fort Belvedere shop here. Now for some great information on how to maintain your sweaters, check out Preston's video on how to wash and maintain wool sweaters here. It's important to recognize the flexibility that sweaters can offer you in your wardrobe. Now, although the sweater can be seen as a much more casual garment, it can be now worn in a variety of settings. Now, once you have determined the ideal fit of sweater you should be wearing, start by building your sweater collection with solid and neutral colors first, as these will offer you the greatest amount of versatility. Now, feel free to take some time and find out which styles you prefer. Don't forget to personalize your outfit a bit. Take a look at the Fort Belvedere shop for pocket squares, cufflinks, socks, and more. Today I'm wearing a green wool double-breasted jacket. 
I have on this really unique Fort Belvedere pocket square with turquoise and sharp yellow and burnt orange colors, great for fall. I'm pairing that with a camel merino wool sweater and dark denim. And at the very end, I'm wearing a pair of olive green leather boots. Thank <laughs> you.